cooked potato. And there we have our cooked potato. Bit bland. It's a bit bland. We've not added our secret spices yet. So yeah, I've got another butter. <laughs> what do we do now? Now we're going to mash them. Mash them. He's the he did the monster man. It's taken 56 minutes to get my spuds to the masher. And here we have our mashed potato. Yes, at last. What have you, what have you got? Oh, we have, oh, we have mashers. No, a big no. machine mashing like that. No, we don't do that. What we've got here is a hydraulic pump that pushes out a diced potato through a rice screen. Now this screen is placed in the end of this tube and that pusher comes across really slowly and just gently pushes the mash through. That's actually quite fine holes. Yeah, they're 1.5 mil. These small holes will ensure our mash has a super smooth texture. If you'd like to put your hand in there, you can actually feel the consistency. Right. Yeah. Be careful, it's a bit warm. Still at 80 Whoa, degrees. That is red hot, mate. Yeah, that's 80 degrees. That is super light and fluffy. Yeah, mate, that's, that's a good consistency. OK, I like that. I really like that. From here, it's squeezed through two 30-kilo metal rollers onto a belt. And the mash is being flattened to 1.5 mil thickness, so I can start bringing the temperature down. Why do you want it to be cool? I can't make a waffle with hot mash. The underside of the belt is sprayed with a coolant, which chills the mash on top. The thinner the layer of mash, the faster it cools. Colder mash is firmer and holds its shape better. Is that cool? That's no cool. So, okay. I'm going to touch it. So that, that is fridge cold. So that was 80 degrees up that end. What, about 10 yards away? Yeah, and that's now lower than 10 degrees. That, in such a short space of time, I think is remarkable. This cooled mash is still 100% potato, and it's almost ready to be transformed into those familiar grid shapes. But Ruth is questioning why they wanted to make it waffle shaped in the first place. Potatoes, waffles, they're not the most obvious combination, are they? On the one hand, there's the waffle, invented in 17th century Belgium. Then there's the chip, also thought to be a Belgian invention. Who on earth married the one to the other to make a potato waffle? One thing's for certain, wasn't a Belgian. No, potato waffles were invented here in Britain back in 1974. They were